So that is going to be our bullpen for opening day. Some guys I wanted to talk about here, Alex Lane and Joe Jimenez. I definitely feel they both have to step up a lot to start this season. Uh, Joe Jimenez had a zero ERA in spring training, so if he could continue that into 2022, I really feel it's going to help his career and help this entire season if he gets off to a good start. If he starts struggling again and that ERA looks really bad to start the year and he can never get it rounded out again like last year and the last year prior, I really don't have much confidence Joe will turn the season around. So in my opinion, this first couple week or so, weeks or so are going to be the real testing point for Joe if we keep him past this season. If he can step up, I would love to have him as a bullpen option for the next championship runs. Uh, on to Alex Lane, though. He didn't have as great of a spring. Had about a 9 ERA, and he gave up a good amount of runs. But he also had a lot of strikeouts, and he looked really good against some batters, and he had a couple scoreless outings. So some duds in there and some good starts. If he can have a really good start to 2022, I think it's going to give us a huge boost. Uh, without Funk and Cisnero, we're going to need some lengthy starts from our starters. Uh, we have a lot of young guys like Roni Garcia and Elvin Rodriguez and Jacob Barnes who we haven't seen a lot of. We've seen Roni for sure, the other two not very much. So let me know what you guys think of the bullpen, and we'll get on to the starting pitching. So that will be our rotation for the first couple weeks of the season. Uh, the first player I wanted to talk about was Tyler Alexander. He's definitely going to have a great season this year if I had to make a prediction. I think last year he really earned that fifth starting role, and he's not going to want to give it up this year. Uh, Pineda and Willie Peralta will be looking to come back in a couple weeks, and I know Tyler is not going to want to move to the bullpen. He likes being a starter. He likes being out there and throwing 80-plus pitches when he's having a start. Uh, if we are going to move him to the bullpen, I would like to use him in a stretch role all year not just a one-inning role. I like watching Tyler pitch, and I think he can do it over multiple innings and even go through a lineup once or twice. Uh, the next player I wanted to talk about here was Casey Mize. I think he had a pretty good spring. That last start he had against the Phillies is a little bit scary. He was leaving the ball over the middle of the plate a lot, and his velo, although we couldn't see the miles per hour, it didn't look like he was throwing it very hard. So a little bit alarming there. He does have the second start of the year. But I'm, I'm still confident he'll be ready and have a decent start. The third pitcher I wanted to talk about was Matt Manning. He also had a pretty good spring. Uh, I think the slider this year is going to be the big difference for him. He's pitching with a lot more confidence, and he's really getting that pitch low into the left side batter's box. Uh, he's throwing it with a lot more conviction and with confidence, so I'm excited to see him pitch a full season with that kind of attitude. He doesn't. Last year he looked like he was a rookie, like he wasn't confident in his pitches, his fastball. This year he looks like he can blow by any fastball he throws, by any hitter. Last year he looked like it was a little questionable and he wasn't too sure of himself. This year I'm very confident he's going to have a great season, a great second year, and he's going to really use that fastball slider combo to get hitters out on a daily basis. The next pitcher I wanted to talk about is Eduardo Rodriguez. He's going to be the new face for us this year. I've actually never really watched a full game from him unless it was pitching against us, and I wasn't really focused on his pitching. I was more locked in on our hitting. So tomorrow is going to be really fun to see the way he attacks hitters, to see his tempo and pace. It's just going to be a really fun game. Of course, we've seen him in spring a ton, but it's going to be different in the MLB game in every way. The way he attacks and his tempo is going to be way different. He's not just going to be throwing strikes over the middle of the plate. I expect his movement to be a lot better as well tomorrow. Uh, he throws the changeup, the cutter, and the four seam as his three most used pitches. So that'll be a really fun mix to see. I really like when people throw two fastballs in their mix with a nice changeup. He does have a slider as well, but he doesn't throw it as much. Uh, so tomorrow should be a lot of fun to see. We definitely have an elite pitcher here in Eduardo. So let me know what you guys think about him, and we'll get on to the fifth pitcher. The last pitcher I wanted to talk about is Tariq Skubal. He by far had the best ERA out of all of our starters in spring with an ERA in the ones. He was the most consistent, and I expect him to continue that in 2022. Uh, I love Tariq Skubal. I think he'll definitely be one of our aces for the next 5, 10 years. Uh, the, just the way he pitches is crazy. You don't see it very much from the left-hand side. His arm angle is really high. He has a really high leg kick. It's just a very unique way of pitching that you don't see very often, and it throws batters off a lot. 
So I think Tariq's going to have a great 2022. I think he's getting the third star of the year, so look forward to that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Tariq, and I'll see you guys in the next video.